guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. So you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you to the Let's Play episode of Tennis Ace, Case Case Pad. So y'all, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Alarm Chain, you are up, and let's go. All right. <clears throat> okay. He grabs Case K by the collar of his shirt and lifts him up, leaving there hovering a few centimeters above his seat. Case K rushes to stabilize himself, planting his feet firmly on the ground and moving his arms to support himself against the bench. I'm amazed that his shirt hasn't ripped from being grabbed and tugged like that. Even if his initial reaction was that of shock, Case K is quick to is quick to compose himself. What the hell are you doing? What's wrong with you? Me? What's wrong with you? You got your pride hurt because you got beaten like a chump and now you're gonna lash out on us? And I'm being creepy? How dare you, little ungrateful prick? Finally, regaining my senses, I rush over to the two to try to defuse the situation. Sh Shuichi, that's enough! Let him go- As soon as I place my hands on his shoulder, Shuichi moves his arm to push me aside. I can tell that he's holding himself back. Otherwise, I probably would have planted my ass firmly on the ground. This doesn't concern you, Yuichi. Fuck off! His eyes don't even move a little bit towards my direction. They continue to stare at Keisuke's eyes, unmoving. But little I can see of Keisuke's face, since most of it is blocked by Shuichi's towering figure, shows me a snide look. Oh, please. You. Worried about me? Don't make me laugh. I don't need that kind of thing from you. Our relationship isn't like that. And yeah, I don't care about your sympathy. I don't want it. You can go shove it somewhere else. Stop being such a bitch. We're just trying to help you cheer up. There was no need for you to talk to us like that, especially Junkun. I don't care. I don't need your help. Shuichi pauses for a second, tightening his grip around Keikun. For a split second, for a split second there, I'm sure that he's gonna punch him. Instead, he lets him go and takes a step back. Fine. You don't want sympathy? Then that's fine. Here's what I here's what I really think of your little pissy little pissy little attitude. If you're trying to pretend you're fine, that you don't need our help and you don't want us around. Don't make me laugh. It's so obvious that you're hurting. It's so obvious that it's actually kind of disgusting. Sh Shuichi san. I put a hand in front of June. Trying to silently tell him to just watch. He does as instructed and quiets down. I don't think interrupting these two is a good idea right now. Plus, I kind of have a feeling about what Shuichi's trying to do. I think I'll just trust him on this. Huh? Who are you calling disgusting? You, of course. What are you planning on doing now? Mope around like a loser? No one needs a sad sack. Get yourself together already. This is pathetic. Well, anyone would be down after a loss. What are you talking about? Not you. What's with those dead eyes of yours that look like they've already given up? I've never seen such a pathetic look on your face before. It irritates me. You've never been the type to get down after a loss. You always use it to prop yourself forward. Moping around? Lashing out? Don't screw with me. That's not you and you know it. You don't even know me all that well. Oh, please. We might not be the greatest of friends, but I've been spending almost all my days with you since we met. I've seen you lose plenty of times before, and I've never seen you getting down. Annoyed? Sure. But down? Never. So pull yourself together already. This isn't the Abushi Hara that I've come to respect. They both glare at each other for a few more seconds. My heart feels like it might pop from the tension. If I'm wrong and this goes badly, I don't want to have to deal with a fistfight between my friends. But then the impossible happens. Kaken sits himself back down, sighing out loud. Fine, I see what you're trying to say. Heh, <laughs> I think this is the first time since we've met that you've spoken to me like this. Yeah, I'm surprised it didn't blow up at you any sooner. You really are a pain to deal with. Same here. God, you're so insufferable. I can see the corner of Keisuke's mouth curving up in a half-smile. Was I right? Come on, we don't need to deal with this right now, and I need to cool off. Shuichi walks up to us, opening his arms and hurting us away from Keisuke. What about Keisuke-san? I don't want to deal with his annoying ass right now. If you're not coming, then I'll leave you here. Shuichi turns around to leave. Oh, I'm coming, I'm coming! I continue to stand in place, my eyes fixated on Keisuke as the other two walk away. Aki tugs on my sleeves again, looking up at me in confusion. Niki, should we go with them? I look at I look at Keisuke one last time. Even if it's faint, I can see his shoulders shaking a little bit. These two, they really can't be honest with each other, can they? It's obvious. It should be obvious what Shuichi was actually doing, and Keisuke knows what he was doing. If they won't admit it, they really are birds of a feather when it comes to this. Yeah, let's leave Aki kind alone for now, and let's leave Keiken alone for now, and we'll go with the others. Second, y'all, it is water time. Okay. Hey, Shuichi, wait up! It takes us a bit of running, but we managed to catch up to Shuichi next to the service desk. Jeez, did he have to go all the way to the center of the venue? Jesus, slow down a little. Look at June, he can barely catch his breath. Huh? I'm fine! 
You don't look fine. I'm fine! Oh, oh. akiyoshi can why are there two of you? Actually, is he- is he stumbling on his feet? I stand corrected. He's the picture of health. I guess I did exaggerate a little. I just needed to get away from that idiot. You could really do with some self-control, you know. Did you really have to tear into him in public? No, I guess I just let my anger get the better of me. I hate when people act all defeated and mopey instead of just doing something about it. I snapped. Sorry. Mm-hmm. I don't think that's what it was about. What do you mean? I think you're just coming up with an excuse because you don't want to admit that you were trying to look out look out for him. What? That's ridiculous! I despise Urushihara. I was just looking for a chance to yell at him for a bit. So you say, but I think you were just pretending to do that when, in reality, you were trying to cheer him up with some tough love. What? That's... I mean, nuh-uh! Ooh, this is gonna be good. Aki pulls June a few steps back with a smile plastered on his face. I decided to play them, to pay them no mind. Yeah, huh? At no moment did you insult him. All you did was tell him that he was at, wasn't acting like himself and tried to encourage him. I, I, I would never. You two really can't be honest about how much you care for each other, huh? Sh shut up, Shokun. You're such a Shokun. You're such a sundere. I try to imitate a cutesy boyish voice. It comes off all weird and raspy, but it does its job. She which turns an even darker shade of red. Shut up! Seeing him looking so flustered is absolutely hilarious. He's so adorable when he's trying to hide his embarrassment. I think I already know the answer to this question, but have these two always been like this? Oh, yeah, for as long as I can remember, they've always acted like an old married couple. Although the roles have kind of reversed for when I was little. Really? What do you mean? Well... Shut... Aki, shut up! Aki, shut up! We both speak in unison, cutting him off before Aki can get any further in his story. Wah! Fine, fine. While June is completely caught off guard by her sudden reaction, Aki is incredibly nonchalant about it. Not one bit surprised or upset about it. Jeez, I feel so out of whack all of a sudden. You do? I'm the one who just played a full match. Oh please, your match didn't even last an hour. Which reminds me, don't you have to relay the results to the officials? Oh, yeah, that's true. I'll be right back. It doesn't take me more than five minutes to inform them of the results and then get the time for my next match. Looks like we're scheduled to play at 2 p.m., a bit later than on previous years where the finals would be at noon. I guess they expect more people to come watch if they schedule it after the for, if they schedule it for after lunch. Though that also means I get to eat something before the match, so overall I'm pretty happy about it. Now I just need to catch an early lunch so I won't still be digesting my food by the time I get to play. It'd be a nightmare. Huh? I get back to the spot where Shuichi, Aki, and June were standing in. Only June is here? Hey, hey, where are the other two? Uh, they went over to Mizuguchi-san's court to watch her. Uh, to watch her match. I told them I'd stay around to tell you about it. It's kind of heartless that they just abandoned me here. Don't be so dramatic. They just went to a nearby court. Plus, it's not like we left without telling you where we went. I stayed behind to keep you informed. Yeah, I'll thank you for that. The other two, though? I really think you're overthinking it. Easy for you to say. You rarely think. Anything that can, anything can be... Anything can be considered overthinking to you. Hey, did you just call me dumb? What? No, I called you simple. Simple? Is that considered an offensive thing to call someone? No. Oh, okay. His gullibility hurts. It's like, you know, water time. Hmm. That's good. All right, let's crack this one open. Hmm. Boy, it's the stuff, man. Okay. Let's just hurry to where the others are. Sure, where's the court? You, you didn't ask them what court the match was being held at? No, I thought you knew. I sigh, rubbing the bridge of my nose and counting to ten. I'll go check the information counter. Uh, give me a second. Okay. Luckily, Sai's match is taking place in a nearby court, so it doesn't take us very long to get there. Kaken? I'm surprised to see you here. Keisuke waves, at, waves and excited at us. He seems so... listless. Still feeling bad? Of course. I'm not gonna pick myself up in 20 minutes, but I have better things to do than mope. Yeah, that's the spirit. <laughs> if you say so. Honestly, I was also surprised to see him here. I thought he'd just have crawled into a hole to die after the humiliating defeat he had. Sh Shuichi, could you please not talk about me as if I wasn't here? With how apathetic and silent you're being, you might as well not be here. Did you two stop it for just one minute? S sorry Sorry. They never learn, do they? Aki, how's the match going? Unlike the other two, Aki had his eyes glued to the game the whole time, watching it like a hawk. It's no surprise, really. That's an aspiring... That's an aspiring player would want to watch a player of Saya's caliber. Saya's sense of winning! Quite comfortably, actually. 
She took the first set, 6-3, to three, and she hasn't dropped a single game in the second set. I take a look at the scoreboard to see that the second set is currently 4-0. to zero. Wow, is every single semi-final match being super one-sided today? It, it seems so. KSK's voice is cold and detached. I can instantly tell that I've stepped on his toes. S sorry. It's fine. He sighs, rubbing his nose with his eyes closed and his brows furrowed. He does this for a few seconds before turning his attention back to the game. Mizuguchi-san really is a remarkable player, though. I don't often get the chance to see her playing seriously. Is she really that different from practice? Oh, for sure. She's the type that can't really give her all if it's not if it's not do or die. Yeah, Sai has always been the type to thrive under pressure. The higher the stakes, the better she does. Whenever she has her back against a wall is when she's more dangerous. That's the worst kind of player to face. You're also like that sometimes, Yuichi-san. I, I am? It used to be that you were like that all the time, but someone's been slacking off the past few years. I, I can't really refute that. Sai issues a fast slice that quickly escapes from her opponent's reach, winning her the point. Game count, 5-0. to zero. If she keeps this pace, it won't take much longer to have the results for the match. Honestly, if her opponent lasts another five minutes, I'll be surprised. And by the way, Aniki, what time is your next match? Uh, 2 p.m. We'll have time to have lunch before that. You'll have to make it an early lunch, then, to avoid indigestion and other problems in the middle of the match. Don't worry, Mom. I've already thought of that. As long as you're taking care of yourself, dear. These two are weird sometimes. Tell me about it. Heh, <laughs> you've seen nothing. It used to be so much worse. Will the opinionated audience please shush and get back to watching the match? Aye, your majesty. Eki does an exaggerated bow to mock me, eliciting a chuckle from both June and Keisuke. Eki kun you're still such a cute little kid. Shuichi starts to pull on Aki's cheeks, making him immediately go red and try to push the bigger dog away. Where did that come from? Stop it! Shuichi continues to tease him, tormenting my little brother and watching him frolic in place, trying to push his hand away. I won't say anything anymore! Please stop! Aki might not want to admit it, but he actually enjoys being fawned over by Shuichi like this. He's only reacting like this because he's embarrassed that other people are seeing it. Very cute child indeed. Okay, Shuichi, I think that's enough. If you tease him anymore, then his head might explode. That's the only reason why you're stopping him? Yep. Too bad, Aki-kun. Your big bro is already my partner in crime. Second y'all, water time. Ugh. No! I put a hand on top of his head and pet him gently. Aniki, not you too. Shuichi and I both have so much fun toying with Aki that we completely stopped paying attention to the match. Hey guys, how much of the match did you use? Wait, what are you guys doing? Saya walks up on us as Shuichi is holding Aki's arms up and I'm tickling his stomach. Only then do I realize that her match is over already, that Jun and Keisuke both distance themselves from us, and that people are watching. Shuichi seemed to realize that the same seemed to realize the same thing as he quietly puts Aki down and moves away from him, clearing his throat. I straighten myself up, trying to appear serious again. So <clears throat> where were we? Aki kun? Yeah? Aki adjusts himself, looking down to trying to hide his embarrassed face. Do you need me to call the police on these two perverts? What? Huh? Honestly, what were you two thinking? Doing that to a kid in the middle of a public space? What the hell do you think the people seeing this would think? S sorry, we just didn't think. You two never think. Never? Isn't that a little harsh? It's fine. I'm already used to this anyway. See? He doesn't mind. Thanks, Aki. Aki nods, still hiding his face from us. Of course he doesn't mind. It's called Stockholm Syndrome. Please don't compare us to kidnappers. To be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if someone saw you two doing that, misunderstood, and decided to call the cops on you. What? Well, Junka, not you too. I know I would have. Hey! Oh, come on, it's clear that he's my brother. Anyone can see that. Look at the family resemblance. That just makes it even worse. What? How is it worse? I don't know. I think it's... I don't know. It's kind of creepy. I... You... Now... What? Aki reaches his arm up, giving me a few taps on the back of the head. Hang on, it looks like he froze again. I'm gonna need to restart. Ha ha ha, very funny. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right there. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and that notification bell. If a super thanks, or if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye bye